Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Economics course. Today we're going to be starting a new section which is all about supply and demand and beginning with demand. What is demand? The term demand refers to the quantity of a product that consumers are willing to buy at a fixed price in a given time period in the market. The, the demand for products can change but the main factor which is going to influence the change of demand is the price. Demand curves. On screen now is a demand curve and this is how you draw them. We have two sets of axes with the price on the y axis and the quantity demanded on the x axis. Then we have a demand curve which is pretty much a straight line that's running down both of them. Now we say that there's an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded because it's slanting from the top left to the bottom right of the graph. As the price increases quantity demanded tends to decrease because then the higher the price is quantity demanded gets closer to the zero end of that axis and it makes sense the more expensive a product is the less you're going to want to buy it because it's going to cost you more money as a result the demand for that product is likely to decrease this is how we draw points onto our demand curves we find a point in which we want to see how the price will affect the quantity demanded or vice versa and we draw it on and label it point A we then draw two lines coming off that point onto each axis we have a P for the price and Q for the quantity demanded. We can also show changes in the demand based on the price. So we can label on point B and show that if the price will then decrease, quantity demanded is likely to increase from Q to Q1, following a change in price from P to P1. There can also be such things as shifts in demand. It occurs when the demand curve completely moves to the right or left hand side. So instead of moving up and down the curve, which we have with changes in price, it can literally shift to the right or shift to the left and create a brand new curve. If it shifts to the right, demand is probably increasing, but if it shifts to the left, demand is decreasing. So why does a demand curve shift? There are a number of factors which can then shift demand. Price is only moving demand up and down the line, but these will shift it. If there's a change in consumer tastes, demand will shift because people will have a certain appeal to a certain product, hence changing the demand. Changes in income will shift demand because if people have more ink disposable income for themselves, then they're likely to spend more on products that may have been too pricey to begin with. Also, changes in the price of substitutes or complements of products will then change the demand. If a substitute for your product is cheaper, then the demand for that existing product will decrease and the demand for the substitute, which serves as another replacement for it, is going to increase because it's cheaper. And also changes in complements. If a complement from your product is much cheaper, people will buy the complement and buy your product to go with it, simply because they're much cheaper. So this whole idea of changes in price and changes in demand and the way they both affect each other is pretty much simple economics. It's Econ 101. Calculating demand. There is also a formula we can use to calculate demand with. It's QD equals A minus B times P. So how this works is QD stands for quantity demanded. If A then equals the price which is at zero, it pretty much represents how many people are interested in the product to begin with and would want it if it was free. B represents how much the demand will then decrease when the price is whatever the product will cost. And then point P is the price. The likelihood is you won't get a question in the exam will ask you to work out the demand, but if you do, be sure to remember the formula QD equals A minus B times P. Here you have some questions. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a go at attempting these on another sheet of paper, and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which is going to be about the different types of demand. If you didn't, be sure to check out www.revisealevel.co.uk where there's tons more information on supply and demand and a wide range of other subjects. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.